foreign policy is going to be a major issue in the presidential campaign uh, and in the next presidency with the turmoil in the Middle East, with uh, relations with Russia, with the Iran nuclear issue. Uh, so it is important to see uh, whether the candidates uh, are willing to offer credible, non-ideological, uh, practical stances. Uh, Governor Scott Walker of Wisconsin had something to say uh, on foreign policy uh, earlier this year uh, in which he basically said that the air traffic controller, uh, the firing of the air traffic controllers by Reagan was what essentially ended the uh, evil empire that the Soviets took note and were cowed. Uh, Let's take a, uh, a listen to that. The video is posted below. You can pause this and come back and hear what I have to say about that. So as you heard, uh, Governor Walker believes that uh, Reagan's actions in firing the air traffic controllers, peculiarly very similar to what he did with public unions in his view, I guess, in Wisconsin, was a foreign policy act. Of course, this was kind of ridiculed in a PolitiFact Wisconsin uh, uh, analysis that said there's no documentation of this, uh, even though I guess, in fact, the uh, Soviet leaders took note of it. That doesn't mean it was a big foreign policy issue. The point here is that foreign policy pronouncements on the campaign trail need to actually focus on what should be done now concerning the, uh, the threats and challenges facing us, particularly in light of, of the fact that military spending is going to have to drop unless uh, the budget is, is re reorganized. Uh, I'd like to hear from candidates with specific, uh, informed comments and not ideological ones, and I hope you will too.